Today we're doing the second part of lesson 1.7, finding the rate of change. But instead of using a table, we're going to look at graphs. And if we look at this example here, this graph talks about how fast a car goes, how many miles it goes in an hour. So you'll notice that the x value is time and the y value is distance in miles. And from yesterday when we talked about rate of change, we know that the rate of change is the change in y over the change in x. Remember, that little triangle means change. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this graph and we're going to find that change in y over the change in x. So I picked two points. I'm going to pick this point and this point. It doesn't matter what point you pick. Um, just find some that are uh, at an intersection they're easier. You don't want to work with decimals or fractions. So if I'm looking at 160 as a coordinate pair and 0, 0, right away I know that when I'm at 0, 0, it means I have not gone anywhere in 0 time, meaning that's my starting point. When I talk about 160, it means that in one hour I've gone 60 miles. Another helpful tip is I'm going to label my y's in my coordinate pairs. I'm going to label my x in my coordinate pair. Now the formula that we're going to be using is going to be y minus y, and I'm going to give little subs subscripts. y1 minus y2. And for my x, I'm going to do the same thing. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but I like to choose it so that the equation remains positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 60 minus 0, that's my change in y, and then I'm going to take 1 minus 0, and when I work that out, 60 minus 0 is 60, and 1 minus 0 is 1, which simplifies to 60. And when I'm talking about rate, I'm always doing it y to the x, so it's 60 miles per hour. So I know that the rate of change in this example, the car goes 60 miles per hour. Here's another example to find the rate of change using a graph. We have a graph here that talks about the number of shirts and how much it costs. So it's dollars per shirt. That is the rate that we're looking at. The question says, a graph shows the cost of purchasing t-shirts. Find the constant rate of change for the graph and then explain what 0, 0 and 1, 9 represent. So if I look at my graph right here, I'm going to pick these two coordinate pairs. I think they're small and easy numbers. I am then going to label my y's and I'm going to label my x's. And from the last slide, we're filling, using this formula, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So I'm going to look at my y values, and I want to do it in the same order because it, to keep it positive. So I'm going to do 9 minus 0, and for the x, I'm going to do 1 minus 0. And that simplifies to 9 over 1, which would be $9 per shirt. That's my unit rate. That's my rate of change. And the question asks, what does 0, 0 represent? This one right here. 0, 0 represents that you get 0 shirts for $0. If I were to then look at the point 1, 9, that means I get one shirt for $9. So finding the rate of change or unit rate can be done using a graph, looking at this formula, the change in y over the change in x.